I'll give you one more exercise now. You can try this one. Say I have this employee table. I have this department table. We'll take one more, two more tables and join. So let us go with this. Say I have created select staff from project table. There are some projects in my project table, and there is a works on table. Select star from works on. So this gives me a mapping of which employee is working on which project. So here employee ID one one two is working for project ID one. Employee ID one one two is working for project ID two. One employee can work on multiple projects. Likewise, one project can have multiple employees. Say project ID one has got multiple employees. So what is the primary key for this table? Is it SSN? SSN cannot be the primary key because it has duplicate values. Is it project ID? Project ID cannot be because it's also having duplicate values. So the combination of SSN plus PID should be the primary key. So how will you enforce that? Let me use an alter table command. Alter table works on. Now we'll add constraint. Constraint is primary. Constraint name is works on underscore pk. And then the constraint is primary key. What are the two columns? That is SSN and PID. So it makes a combination of these two columns to be the primary key. So all our things are set now. So we we'll know which employee works for which project using works on table. Now I want you to go and print employee name, department name, and the project name for every employee in the employee table. So what is that I want? I want employee name, department name, whether it is SESC or SPST, and then the project name. Project name is select star from project. So to know which employee is working for which project, you have to use the works on table. So what all tables we are going to join here? We are going to join employee, department, project, works on. Four tables we are going to join. And what we are going to print? Employee name, department name, and project name. Can you try the query now? Let me also try. Select e dot name. E dot uh, uh, D dot D name that is the uh, department name. P dot P name that is the project name. From what are the tables? That is employee E department. We are going to join all these tables. Department D. We are also going to use the works on table. So works on W. Another table we are going to use is project B. We need to use all these tables to get our information. Okay? Where? What is the condition we are going to join? How we join employee and department table? E dot department number is equal to D dot department number. So that join is done. And how you join employee with works on table? There is an SSN foreign key there. So it is e dot ssn is equal to p dot ssn. It works on right w dot ssn. So I have to join it with the works on table employee and works on. So it is e dot ssn is equal to w dot ssn. And this project ID from the works on table should be joined with the project ID in the project table. So how will you perform that? P dot PID that is W dot PID is equal to P dot PID. The project table PID, yes. So what I am doing here is W dot PID should be equal to P dot PID. Only then I can get the project name. Did we join all the tables? I think this should give me the output. Display employee name, department name, project name of all employees who work for SEIC department alone. How can you do that? Select e dot name, e dot uh, uh, d dot department name, and uh, we should also display the project name p dot p name. 
from employee E department D and then we will also have this works on table works on W and then project P now comes the condition where we join employee and department table E dot D number is equal to D dot D number and what is the condition we will join employee with works on that is E dot SSN is equal to W dot SSN and works on with project that is W dot uh, uh, PID is equal to P dot PID there is one more condition and E D dot D name should be equal to SCSC so what we are going to display here is employee name, department name and project name for all employees who are working for scope and whose salary is greater than 20,000 right. So we will go with select E dot name, E dot uh, D dot uh, department name and uh, P dot P name, project name from employee space E department space D. Works on also we have to use here works on space W and then project space uh, B. We have to give all the conditions here. We will join the employee table with department table that is E dot department number is equal to D dot department number and we will join the employee with works on that is E dot SSN is equal to W dot SSN and works on with project how will you join that W dot PID is equal to P dot PID and we have to join we have to give the conditions that is d dot department name should be equal to SESC and the salary e dot salary should be greater than 20,000 only that employee I want what we need to check here is is Sam's salary greater than 20,000 so select staff from employee so you see here Sam is the person who is getting salary greater than 20,000 whereas another person who is working for scope his salary is only uh, 6,000. So two employees are working for ACSC. One employee is having only 6,000 so he is filtered. Another employee is 40,000. So his data is coming out. It is coming out twice because he is working on two projects. Sam is working on two projects. We have to confirm that too. Select staff from works on. So you see here 112 is Sam is working on project ID 1 and he is also working on project ID 2. So we have written the correct page.